Thanks for staying with us here on Fox 43 Morning News. I'm Gabrielle Mediak. And I'm Alex Cauley. We want to get straight to the breaking news out of Baltimore, where the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapsed just hours ago after a ship crashed into it. And right now, crews are trying to rescue at least several people in the water with multiple cars that went into that water. The U.S. Coast Guard is also responding. Fox 43's Sayre Williams joins us live right now near the scene. Sayre, what are you seeing? Yeah, good morning, Gabby and Alex. So officials are calling this a mass casualty event with several people in the water right now. So where we're standing is the Maryland Transportation Authority building where this is as far as we can get. But just down this bridge, the Francis Scott Key Bridge is where most of the uh, search and rescue is happening. Now, we know that this event took place around 1.30 this morning and a cargo ship sailing under a Singapore flag crashed into a beam, causing it to collapse, as well as sending yeah. multiple vehicles into the Patapsco River. Uh, one of the vehicles, including a tractor trailer uh, that was traveling on this route. Now, again, this happened around 1.30 a.m. Roads on I-695 have been shut down, as well as detours put in place. And um, all lanes for all directions in the incident uh, have been closed. Now, as you can see here where the media is set up, uh, there's also police personnel, fire crews, uh, everything that you can imagine to uh, uh, respond to this event, as well as uh, making sure that the, the uh, area is shut down to the public. Now, again, a lot of uh, officials are saying that this is going to be an ongoing investigation into what caused this crash, uh, and um, a lot of information is yet to come out. We are still looking for information on the, the amount of injuries, how many people are in the water, as well as uh, if there are any survivors. Uh, that information will be coming to you on Fox 43 Morning News, uh, as well as on fox43.com. And we uh, spoke with a few people on scene, as well as the PIO. Uh, they tell me that the mayor is set to give a press conference later on today, so make sure you stay with us on that. But for now, in Baltimore, Sayara Williams, Fox 43 News. Sayara, thank you. We're going to check back in with you, and we hope to be carrying that press conference live right here on Fox 43 for people at home. Yeah, and, of course, we're going to have much more throughout the morning right here on Fox 43 Morning News as well as on Fox43.com.